so I am doing an unboxing video of some pedals that I got and basically move this crap out of the way and first one is an Earthquaker Devices uh, pedal cool box um, it's the plumes, or let's call it, let's call it what it is. It's basically the tube screamer. What I'm going to do is, uh, I guess have it playing on in the background a little bit for you while I open this up. Um, but basically JFET op amp based overdrive. It's got lots of headroom is what they say. And, uh, basically, um, Earthquaker devices uh, fixed, I guess, some of the issues with uh, the tube screamer or whatever. It's got three uh, settings. So these are the three modes right here. You can see them here. And I'm probably like number three, I'd imagine. I'm not sure. Um, but basically, yeah, you're talking about a good overdrive pedal. Um, what came in the box was obviously a, a catalog as well as uh, the manual. Uh, sticker and then obviously the pedal the most important thing now the pedal is usually like a army green I think it is uh, but I got a, a different colored one so let's see here so I don't know if it's really coming out too well but it is aqua this is yellow um, it's pretty light I was expecting it to be heavier to be honest with you um, but uh, there's a serial number you know, it's a boutique pedal. Um, this stickers in a way. This this company itself, um, their pedals are usually about 200 bucks. This this one is actually 100 bucks. I'm not gonna uh, kill you with like too much information, but it's pretty straightforward. Input, output, uh, nine volt, and uh, I understand that these lights here are super bright. So I got a one spot right here in front of me. So let me just uh, plug it in really quick. Let's see. <laughs> yeah, that's bright. Um, it's like a flashlight, so I see why people say that they um, will put scotch tape over it or nail polish or something to um, to have that uh, be less blinding. Uh, I've got another pedal here. Um, it's gonna pretty much be the same thing, I'd imagine, with a what it is. It's got the catalog, a sticker, the manual. Um, this one's got some presets on here. Um, so here they are. Um, I want to take a look what they, I guess, suggest. Um, I'll never use that sound. I guess say it's since come together, it's probably a Beatlesque sound. I'd be interested in this one and this one, it looks like. Um, but, you know, pretty straightforward. Again, you'll notice a theme, Noah, as I take all the pedals out that I, I'm building a new pedal board with. Um, Normally this pedal, the Dispatch Master, like with a, like a blue kind of uh, color here. And then the knobs are usually white as well. Um, this is a yellowish golden color with navy blue with clear knobs. So again, another custom color. Um, and uh, this is an amazing pedal. Uh, this is one that I was really looking forward to. To me, this is like the only delay reverb pedal you probably need if you just want one pedal. It's 200 bucks, um, so a little, little expensive. Same kind of housing as the plumes. Input, output, nine volt. Um, here's the reverb specific um, pedal, uh, or knob, I should say. And, and the thing is, you can actually just have this be a straight up reverb pedal or um, delay pedal. Um, I didn't get it for that, I got it to actually mix them together. Beautiful sounding pedal as you can hear in the background. Um, it's just a beautiful, 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 beautiful. So anyway, so that is uh, the second pedal for the board. Um, now, obviously things come in threes. The third one is again, another Earthquaker Devices pedal. <laughs> um, but this one I got used actually. See Astral Destiny. Um, I got it from Gear Hero, which is down the street from me in uh, Deerfield Beach, Florida. And this is the Astral Destiny manual. Um, there's no catalog in this one um, and probably no sticker. Yeah, just a 
probably a coupon of some sort, same cloth bag. And uh, as you can see, a beautiful purple sparkle color. Um, it's got some really cool features, to be honest with you. So um, I'll go right here with this one, this stretch one. Listen closely here, you ready? It's gonna come in right in. There you go, that's the stretch function. So it warps uh, the tails. Really neat uh, little function there. But anyway, so this pedal is an octave reverb pedal. Uh, beautiful color, obviously. It's got an expression uh, port. Uh, so a little different than these guys. They don't have that obviously input output again 9 volt um, It does have Presets here, so um, It's pretty nice. There's eight presets and then it has different modes that you can select between And then obviously you have the depth the rate the tone in the mix now, which is really cool the expression um, Pedal can be programmed to any one of these that you want to use as uh, for the expression um, it's really cool. Um, the presets are pretty neat too because you can actually save your favorite sounds and then just use them rotating here. And I'll show you how you access that. All right, so it's actually in that mode now. Let me just hold it down. So right now, now it's in the normal mode where I can go rotate through these guys here. That's what that green light is for. And then so when you actually hit this, this engages the stretch function, right? Um, so then, I hold this button down, you'll see it's gonna blink. Now I'm in preset mode. You can actually, in essence, have a looper pedal, which I intend to do, go in, and then have your presets, and you can actually do some really cool droning kind of stuff where you're doing this back and forth with it. So um, a very unique pedal, um, beautiful looking too. Um, so that's the theme uh, so far, is that I'm not going with the traditional color of most of these pedals that I got. I've got um, the next one up here, uh, Old Blood Noise Endeavors. Now, I like this box better than the Earthquaker one. Not to say that I don't like the Earthquaker design, because I abs absolutely do, because I, lo <laughs> I love that. Um, but this blue is grabbing me. Um, so this one is a little bit of a different pedal. I'm gonna move this out of the way here. Um, so basically, this is a ramper pedal. Um, so let's enjoying their discord there obviously so normally this pedal's white this is I, I believe a one of i ordered it off their site pink obviously so basically you can set this into that expression uh aspect and it will automatically go from point a to point b and you can set the depth and the rate and that sort of thing and obviously these are the waves that you can use right so it's pretty cool um pretty simple um but uh, you don't have to use an expression pedal. So I thought this would be kind of cool to have. Um, but I didn't get it for the Astral Destiny. I got it for a different pedal. Um, so the cardboard cutout is the same as the box. This is going to be the manual. So um, expression ramper is about movement expression. It's a dancer of sorts, both the journey between point A and point B. So, you know, basically what I just told you, but uh, uh, sticker, which is always uh, cool and a uh, button, which is great. And a really welcome thing, a guitar pick. I mean, I'd love to have an Earthquaker uh, device's uh, <laughs> guitar pick. Uh, the last pedal uh, for now, uh, another old Blood Noise Endeavors. Now, this is the pedal that actually got me uh, starting to go with making a new pedal board and basically it's all about like an ambient style uh, sound and changing up my, my playing. And I've been using the same pedals for so long. It's got a, another guitar pick in there. The insert's the same as the other one as the box itself. There's a manual, um, another sticker, and another pin, which is pretty cool. That's it. So the manual itself uh, folds out. Looks like it's going to be a poster of some sort. It is. It's got the artwork here. It's a big poster. Um, now, some suggested presets as well. And this is a dynamic reverb pedal. And 
this one has the expression input and so these two pedals are gonna you know live together so to speak let's listen listen to this i pulled this out for a reason this is this pedal right here that you're listening to That sound it's almost like a flanger listen to that that's this pedal right here making that sound so pretty amazing um, so anyway this is so far the new board setup um, and obviously it's a boutique setup. It's rather expensive. I had the extra cash lying around, so I figured I would just change it up a little bit. Um, so hundred bucks, 200 bucks, 200 bucks, 200, 200 bucks, 59 bucks. And I'm not done yet. I'm actually going to get a couple more pedals. Um, I'm going to get the JHS, uh, compressor. Um, I'm going to get the walrus Juliana and then the chase tone secret preamp and then that's it uh hopefully uh you like what you see you'd be inspired to maybe try one of these guys out um and uh yeah hopefully uh hopefully i'll create something good for you to check out in the future